Holy smokers. What is up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter. So good to have you in the studio today. Today we have a super exciting video. Uh, we have a ton of pots to glaze. So these all need to get glazed. Those over there need to get glazed. If we can fit them in a kiln, those can get glazed. I'm gonna glaze these over here. So we just unloaded all these pots. We unloaded 95 pots from the bisque kiln. And I can safely get about between 45 and 55 mugs in any glaze kiln. So that basically means that our bisque kiln was twice as much as our glaze kiln. The exciting part about this glaze video that we're doing today is we have a plan. We're going into it with a plan. It's so much easier when you make pots from the start knowing exactly how you're gonna glaze it. This is one of those do as I say, not as I do things because it's, I would definitely recommend to you right away when you start, before you touch the wheel, before you grab a piece of clay, like think about the shape you're gonna make and then also think about how you're gonna finish it. Like so many people, myself included, will just make, 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 make a bunch of mugs or cups or bowls and be like, oh, I'll figure out what I'm gonna glaze it later. But I know from experience that things turn out much better and it's also much easier and more efficient on you if you just, if you know exactly how you're gonna finish it before you even start. So for example, these pots over here are all part of our dinnerware set. So I made like some little wine, um, like tumbler type things that will go in the set as well as those little bowls. We had some little bowls like that that Ryder used a lot and that I use a lot. Not me, I don't use those a lot. Ryder use them a lot. So those are gonna be that Aurora Green over Winter Wood. Those over there are gonna be a lot of the Northern Lights. They're not all gonna be that. But then these, so this mug I made a few, probably like a few months ago. And I kept it because I just really liked it a lot. It feels cool. I like the look of it. The drips are perfect. It's just a very like, the handle's great. I loved it. So I decided this year that I was gonna be a little more thoughtful about the things I was making. Like instead of just getting on the wheel and being like, all right, what do I feel like making? I'm actually, I actually made a list of the things that I thought would either sell really well, I liked a lot, I wanted to explore the form more. So this was one of those. So all these right here are all that marbled with red iron oxide. And so I'm gonna put this copper ore drip glaze, copper ore over sandstone, on this, these mugs, and hopefully they turn out just like this. I just did unload a glaze kiln and I did a couple tests to make sure. Anytime you don't do a certain glaze or a certain look for a few months, I would always recommend testing it. So I tested it on the same kind of clay on this mug and the drips turned out perfectly. I could probably have a little bit less around the top just so that we can show off as much of that marbling as possible, but I think the coolest part of it is that you just like kind of see the marbling behind the drip. So that's the game plan for today is to get a glaze kiln started. And so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. You're keeping me on. Yeah, I'm strapped in. Stuck in a song. We got copper ore and sandstone on all these. So these are good to go, ready to be loaded. These have two layers of what we call our Northern Lights glaze. That's the glaze that I've been doing forever. So it's black and then a metallic green. 
and then it gets one more glaze once these are dry. And then these, all the rest of the stuff that I have planned will be, that's gonna be Aurora Green over Winter Wood, because that's like my favorite combo right now. And then all this stuff is gonna be the same. Uh, Aurora Green over Winter Wood. So now we're just gonna glaze all this stuff and those Minnesota mugs, and we'll probably be pretty close to what we need for this kiln. And then I'll probably just glaze a couple other tester items out of this batch. So I made some like mugs for travel for the car, right? So it's got the handle up here, fits in a cup holder. It's got a little thing so you can sip. So I wanna get those tested out. I always underestimate how long it's gonna take me to get a glaze started. It doesn't help when you film it too. It, everything takes like twice as long. But it's totally worth it. Let's do it. All right, friends, so this kiln is full. It's like three hours later. That took us way too long, but we have a full kiln. I don't know how many, I always count them when they come out. I don't count them when they go in, so. But I guess there's probably 50 pots in there, so. I might try and figure out a different firing schedule to uh, increase the like micro crystal growth. So we're getting, we're getting into details right now, but Matthew Kelly, another uh, pottery YouTuber, was texting with me today saying, hey, you should try a different firing schedule. So instead of, I might have it hold at a lower temperature, like get up to the top temperature, but then as it's cooling, don't let it cool so fast. Like instead of letting it cool just normally, I would hold it so it would at like 1700 to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll be back in a couple days to unload this kiln. See you guys then. Okay guys, I decided to try that new firing schedule. You can see by the graph here. So we get up, to cone seven, and then we let it get down. And so it's already been to the top temperature right now. It's already went to like 2262 degrees, which was cone seven. And then now it's like going down and we're holding it between 1500 and 1700 for like multiple hours. We're gonna find out if it's if it works and if it's interesting. So the micro crystal growth, I gotta show you what that means. So all these like little specks, that are there, those are all micro crystals. So these little tiny specks in there. For example, this bowl and this bowl are the same glaze. So there was a little bit of micro crystal growth here, but there was way, way more in here. Evidently, that has to do with the cooling. And so we're holding the cooling for a few hours to hopefully increase that micro crystal growth. We're gonna find out. So it'll be tomorrow when we own this kiln because it's still at 1500 degrees. Still has an hour and 50 minutes left. So hopefully right now, all those crystals are just like forming on the pot. That was a super long, probably confusing explanation, but thanks, shout out to Matthew Kelly Pottery. Go check him out on YouTube. I'll link him in the description of this video, but he was the one that said, have you ever tried that before? We'll know tomorrow. I'm either gonna love him or I hate him. All right, peace out. Boom. Based on the top level, uh, I'm super excited. So it looks pretty similar to like the glazes that I did, but the micro crystal growth in there is like a little bit wild. It's just kind of smoother, a little bit more pronounced. I, I can definitely tell a difference. It's very cool. So uh, we're gonna unload this kiln. So these are just some normal bowls that are that Aurora Green over Winter Wood. And so those are, that same glaze that I was doing for my whole set, for my family. 
But this, this one is the Northern Lights glaze that I've been doing forever. And I can definitely tell it's got some different look to it. Just a little bit more like cohesive. I don't know, I don't really know how to explain it. That's just the top shelf too. And so sometimes the top shelf doesn't quite get the same, but since it was hold, held for so long, I would guess that it did kind of even out the temperature. Cool, very cool. It's quite different looking. I like it. I like it a lot. We got a bunch of these little bowls. These are just for, for us to use. Woo! Look at that! That's craziness. Those crystals in there are nuts. Wow. That is really cool. The crystals almost turn a different color, but that is sweet! So we got some of those travel mugs. Got some Northern Lights. So this is how the Northern Lights, that really changed a lot. Just straight up black. I think I did a little, I did black and green and then sandstone to try that. This is pretty similar to that other one. Oh, that's beautiful. Win so this is winter wood with sandstone on top. Wow. Look at that. Got a little drippy on there. That's all right. Travel mug. Probably just gonna keep this one for myself anyway. <laughs> Gorgeous. Whoo. Here's another travel mug. That one dripped everywhere. But these are all little wine tumblers that go with our set in our kitchen. Holy smokers. So this is the copper ore over sandstone with the marble and that is craziness. That's that hold, wow, that is really interesting. Man, that turned out sweet. That also could have just been at cone seven instead of cone six. So there's a lot of variables there, but those are cool. You can kind of see in the handle, those crystals kind of growing a little more. Wow. So, super cool. Super cool. There's like so many of these, so I'll just fast forward through all this. Super cool. So that was a good experiment. Thanks, shout out again to Matthew Kelly. Check out Matthew Kelly on YouTube or Instagram. He's a great potter. I bought one of his mugs, man. He had, he had as a, he built a wood fire kiln. He sold the pots, some of the pots from the first ever wood fire and I bought one and I love it. I love it so much. I wish I was drinking out of it right now, but I'm not, I'm drinking out of this one. All right, our next Etsy restock is March 9th. Monday, March 9th, 6 p.m. Central Time. A lot of this stuff will be up, definitely these. Definitely some of these will be up. Mm, just overflowing with hot chocolate or mocha. Mmm, yum. So these are great. These turned out sweet. So I'll definitely experiment with different firing schedules in the future. I think they both look good like how I did it before. Oh, this one turned out amazing. All right, guys, what a fun video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Like, share, comment, all the things. Smash that bell to be notified whenever I post, and we'll see you guys in the next video.